Of modern day cats, only the big cats can actually properly roar, which means the entire group of small cats, which are small cats like the house cats or ocelots, as well as the puma and cheetah, can't actually roar. They can certainly yowl and things, but it's not quite the same amount of air being forced through the vocal tract in order to produce a roar like you would hear in a lion or a tiger. This difference has generally been thought to have been based on the hyoid bones, where they're in different shapes and some parts, specifically the epihyoid bone of big cats, is actually a ligament. And you can see that kind of comparison here in this diagram. This is also why big cats can't purr. This means that if researchers are able to find the hyoid bones of fossil cats, that could say something about potentially what kind of vocalizations they may have used. And that's what this team of researchers did specifically with Smilodon, one of the largest of the saber-toothed cats. What they found that, like big cats, Smilodon also had probably a more ligamentous epihyoid bone, meaning that potentially it could have roared like the big cats. However, that's not all this team of researchers did. They first wanted to also test the conventional wisdom that, hey, the hyoid bone is what lets big cats roar and small cats purr. And what they found is, no, that's really not the important part at all, actually. Instead, the shape of the bones is much more important, and the general shape of the hyoid bones matches between Smilodon and the small cats a little bit more. The thing is, since the shape of the bones is so important, they actually did a number of principal component analyses to try and show this and it's not a super tight fit. In fact, in some aspects, they're pretty different even still. You can see that on some of these graphs with the open shapes being the small cats, the gray shapes being the big cats, and the black shapes being Smilodon. And again, you can see that there is some overlap with the basihyoid and the thyrohyoid, but for the most part, they are a bit different. It's not a perfect one-to-one -one analog between any of these different cat groups' hyoid bones. What this all means is that Smilodon and the other saber-toothed cats probably didn't roar the same way that tigers and lions do. Instead, it's more likely that they potentially purred or yowled more like small cats do. But also, since they're so different, they could have just had their own entirely uniquely evolved vocal communications that we just can't figure out at all. However, this research also does lay down at least some groundwork for trying to understand how vocal communications actually did evolve in cats, including, hopefully with more fossils in the future, the saber-toothed ones. Listen to that. Listen to that happy kitty. Who's a good boy? Who's the biggest boy?